Sometimes you just need a good story about supervillains. Welcome back, Book Dragons. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I'm going to be doing a review today for Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is the first of three books in the Villains Saga. It seems like there's a lot of popularity right now around superheroes gone bad. And this is one of those tales. So I hope you'll stick around for my full review. Let's get right to it. This book is set in a world very much like our own, probably is our world to be honest. The premise is that when certain people die, depending on the nature and circumstances of their death, they can possibly come back to life with supernatural powers. And these people are known as EOs, or Extraordinaries. And the book is centered around two main characters. One is Victor Vale. Not sure if that was a play on Vicky Vale from the Batman series. It, it may have been. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, yeah, Victor Vale is one of the characters. And then his college roommate, Eli, is the other main character in the story. And they are getting ready to do their college thesis. Victor kind of just chooses this random idea for his thesis. And Eli decides to do his thesis on the phenomena of EOs. And as a result, ends up experimenting on himself with Victor's help. And as you can imagine, everything hits the fan. Things go wrong as you would expect. And the main thrust of the book is preparing us for the eventual showdown between Victor and Eli. Mano y mano, they are going to be facing off against each other at some point. And along the way, you meet other characters that they become involved with, such as a young girl named Sydney and her older sister Serena, both of whom have died under unfortunate circumstances and come back to life. And then there's also Martin, who is kind of like a guard dog of sorts for Victor. <laughs> now I want to talk a little bit about story progression here because it does bounce back and forth between the past and the present. So usually the past goes back about 10 years and then of course we come back to the present and toward the end of the book it just starts kind of counting down the hours until showdown time. Now you would think that that kind of story plotting would be a bit jarring, and sometimes it is. Sometimes you have to get your bearings and figure out, okay, is this the past or the present? But usually it's well marked in the book. At the beginning of each chapter, it will tell you, okay, this was 10 years ago, or this was two days ago, or something like that. As far as the magic goes in this story, it comes down to supernatural abilities that have been bestowed upon the person after they've come back from a traumatic death event. So you will see characters in the story that have the ability of a silver tongue. Basically that is somebody who can tell somebody to do something and they will do it. Mind control, forced subservience, whatever you want to call it, that's one of the powers. Dramatic healing abilities is another one, so if you get harmed, it's not going to do anything to you. Your body is just going to completely heal itself. And that also takes the form of delayed aging because your body is always in pristine condition. And then you've got other characters that can resurrect the dead. And I'm not gonna tell you which of these characters has any of those abilities. I want you to be surprised for yourself. It's just really cool to watch. There's other characters in the story that can disappear and reappear instantaneously. It, it felt very much like I was watching an episode of Heroes. If you ever watched that show, uh, Heroes was one of my favorite shows back in the day. And yes, the, the last couple of seasons were kind of eh, but it was still overall a, a fun show. 
I really liked it, and reading this book felt like watching an episode of Heroes. It, it really did. It was just a lot of fun. So next, let's talk about some of the themes that are explored. Obviously, one of the major themes of this book is good versus evil and the nuances in between. Both of the main characters on the surface do appear to be villains, but there is significant nuance and gray areas to that. At times, I felt like I didn't know who to root for, I didn't know who I wanted to see lose and who I wanted to see win, and would there really be any winners or losers? This book kept me pondering that question a lot as I was reading it. Another theme that is explored is religious zeal and the God complex. One particular character in this book prays to God as they are about to die, and when they come back to life, they view that as a sign from God that they have been chosen to carry out a mission, and it just becomes this, you want to come up, Ari? Come on. Come on. Ari wants to come up. Yeah. Oh, you want to come up? All right. Come here. Come here, baby. There you go. Look at this sweet girl. Mwah. All right. So as I was saying, when that particular character comes back to life, the amount of religious zeal that they have because of that experience sets them on a path of destruction that they think is championed by God. So that theme is heavily explored in this book, and I think it's done very, very well. This book also explores all the complicated choices that people have to make as a result of having these powers that they were granted. Some of that has to do with regret over the choices that they've made. And this is one of the things that really leads the reader to empathize with the characters in the book. And I thought that was really well done. Oh, well, thank you, Ari. And the other theme I want to mention is the perils of being bent on revenge. There's one character in particular in the book that really desires revenge on another, and that ends up permeating everything that he does. And there are other themes in the book, but I think these are the ones that stand out the most. So let's talk about what I liked about the book. I really liked the character development in this book. I was able to really connect with all of the characters. I thought they were excellently done. I was also really impressed by all the research that V. Schwab did into making this book. The, the research is obvious because the purported science around dying and coming back to life felt really believable. As I said before, the motivations for the characters' actions made a lot of sense to me. Even though I wouldn't necessarily make some of the choices they did, I understand why they did them. It made sense for the character and for the story progression. And I liked that it was a small world. It wasn't expanding all over the globe. It was just mainly this one city and focused on this core set of characters, maybe five characters that you spend time with on a regular basis, and I thought that was really well done. And the action sequences and the suspense leading up to those action sequences was, wow, I just had such a blast. And the ending was really good. The only thing that I really didn't like about the story was that one of the characters was so OP, so overpowered, that nothing can really hurt them, whereas other characters in the story can easily be hurt and permanently killed, but it didn't really feel like this one character could. And, and I totally get that. There's plenty of comic book heroes that more or less really can't die. And maybe in future books, V.E. Schwab is going to explore some weaknesses for this character. In fact, I'm pretty sure she probably will. So I'm just going to play the wait and see game. I already have book two, which is called Vengeful. Book three, which is supposedly called Victorious, has not been written yet to my understanding. Or if it has, there's no release date yet for it. So I'm anxiously awaiting that one as well. But I will be continuing this series. I absolutely loved it. Let's talk about my rank for the book. I put it in my hoard. 
It is definitely right up there with some of the best books I've read, and I, I just can't wait to continue this series. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you read Vicious? Is it something that's been on your TBR for a while? Are you feeling like you want to pick it up soon now that you've seen this review? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I am going to pin a comment for spoilers on the book, so if you want to talk spoilers, then you can do so. Just please do not put spoilers for Vengeful because I have not read it yet. Okay? Alright guys, until next time, make sure you read more books and I will look forward to talking with you soon.